Hey there, it's Robert with BudBells.com, and for today's uh, warm up, it's not really a warm up, I mean, it doesn't feel like a warm up, but it's the beginning of the workout, so I'm just gonna call it warm up, but it's actually a pretty good workout if you just wanna do it on its own. So you're gonna do each exercise for one minute, you're gonna go through three rounds, take 20 seconds off in between each exercise to get to the next exercise. So if you have a timer, set it for one minute of work and then 20 seconds of rest, okay? Um, and it's for three rounds, so it is close to 30 minutes. Okay, so, um, and it's best to do, it's pretty fun to do with a, with a partner. I'm gonna show you, of course, without a partner, because I don't have anybody here, but with a partner, um, it, it makes it a lot of fun. So, the first exercise is um, clapping push-ups with a partner. So, it's actually like a hand, hand clap, you know, one hand at a time, not necessarily pop up off both hands and clap both of your hands. So. Um, say this person, this kind of out here is my partner. I'm going to, or, or their hand, I'm going to reach out, touch their hand. Push up, touch their hand. Push up, touch their hand. Okay? So that's the first one. That's a minute of that. And then you're going to do um, sit up with a medicine ball. So if you don't have a medicine ball, you can get a light weight. And like I said, it works best with a, with a uh, partner. If you don't have a partner, you can just um, sit up and reach for the ball. So I'm going to show you the partner. So one person's going to be out here like this with the with the ball in their hand, straight out. And then the other person's going to lie their head towards their partner, reach their hands up, and do crunches like that. Reach up and touch the ball. And then what's fun about it, you can move the ball around and have your partner kind of chase the ball around uh, during their uh, sit-ups. So if you have a partner, each of you are going to do it for a minute. And then you're going to do um, lunges. So the clapping lunges. So this, say this person, this TRX, is my partner. And I'm going to lunge, and I'm going to touch his, his hand. And then keep tapping his hand back and forth with that phone. Back and forth. <clears throat> right? So you're going to do a minute of that. And then you're going to do, um, if you have a TRX or a ring rose, um, you can even do your feet on an elevated surface if you don't have TRX. And it's a, a plank uh, with a walk, walking on your hands. So you're going to plank with your feet in the stirrups. Make sure your feet are even. Plank. And then you're going to walk yourself out and walk around. Walk back. Okay. A minute of that. And then you're going to um, use a, a rowing machine and you're going to sprint for one minute. If you don't have a rowing machine, you can run, you can uh, do double unders for a minute, something to really spike your heart rate. And then the last one is squat to a box. So you're gonna get a, a box that's lower than your, your parallel squat. If you touch the box, come back up. Squat down to a box for a minute, okay? And then take 20 seconds off and then start the next round. So you're gonna do three rounds of that. So after you finish three rounds of that, you're gonna do a spiking drill with a uh, partner. If you have a partner, if you don't, you're going to um, swing the bell as if somebody is spiking it. So a spiking drill is um, speeding up the eccentric load of the, of, the, um, of the swing. So it's speeding up the back swing. So you're gonna take the bell and speed it up. And the person who's swinging is gonna allow the person to speed it up and then just match it on the way out. So it's a very fast back swing, okay? So you're gonna do swings. So here's just like a regular swing, I'm swinging here. And now I'm gonna imagine someone's really spiking it. So I'm gonna really throw it back. Throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. Let it float, throw it back, okay? Um, you're gonna do 20 swings, 10 of them being spiking, 10 of them being just normal um, swings, like a recovery swing. As you're doing a recovery swing, so if you have a partner, that partner's gonna do high-low planks. <clears throat> so, I'll, I'll be doing high-low planks as my partner's finishing out their 20 swings. So, I'm gonna spike them 10 times. After I'm finished 10 times, I'm gonna drop down and start doing my, my high-low planks as they finish their swings, okay? And then the last part, you can do five rounds of that, okay? Five rounds of those spiking uh, swings a piece if you have a partner. The last one is great also with a partner, um, is V-ups, and you're gonna hold the top of the V-up, okay? So both of you are gonna V-up, you're gonna do this for a minute, you're gonna V-up like this, 
and your partner's gonna go down and up and you're gonna hold it. Then they come up, hold, you're gonna go down and up, and then hold the top. They're gonna go down and up, and then replace, down and up, so you're resting at the top of your V up as your partner does theirs, okay? So you're gonna do a minute of that with 30 seconds rest, and do um, another minute, so two minutes of that. There's your workout, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.